Hey there, globes and probes. Ugh. The hair on my coffee cup. Hello, little one. Be free. Hello everyone, my name is John, and welcome to another episode of Coffee Time. Today, I want to start with a little bit of a confession. So I have been an absolute jerk this past week. I've had a short temper, I've been moody, I've gotten frustrated really easily, and Sweet Bear has definitely felt the brunt of much of that. To be honest, I'm really in a season right now where I am trying to discern some next steps in my life and my career and my ministry, and that is leading to a lot of anxiety and frustration. And last night, I sort of hit one of many boiling points where I was just complaining to Sweet Bear, like, after three years, my career and my ministry, it's still not where I want it to be, and I'm not even sure where it's even going. I just want some answers. And as always, Sweet Bear was wonderfully patient with me. And then this morning, I woke up early and I was spending some time reading the Bible and praying and reflecting, and this phrase just sort of popped into my head. And the phrase or the thought was, why don't you choose to be patient in the process? Gotta get that last drop. If you're like me, then when you think about patience, usually we are being patient for the product. We're being patient for the thing that we're waiting for. And, and oftentimes we believe that if we have to wait for it, then once we get it, it's going to be that much sweeter. And I think that is part of the reason for patience. But actually, I think the real role that patience plays in our lives, the real point of patience, is the process. And when I look at my life, whether it's the season of waiting that I'm in right now, or seasons of waiting that I've gone through before, I realize that it really is just like the worship song says, it's in the waiting. It actually is in the waiting where God does most of his best work. It's not when we receive the product of our patience that our faith is strengthened, but it's actually right in the middle of the process of patience that we have an opportunity to strengthen our faith. For one thing, it's in the process of patience that we learn to hope on God's promises. Whether my ministry or my career is in the place I thought it would be or expected it to be or not, doesn't change the fact that I can choose to believe that God is still going to do what he said he was going to do. God is still going to use my gifts to encourage other people and to glorify him. He is never going to leave me or forsake me along the way. God is still going to be a light unto my path. Just because I am currently in process doesn't mean that I still can't hope for God's promises. And secondly, it's also in the process of patience that we learn to trust in God's provision. And not just in provision of the product or outcome we want, but that God is actually providing for us every step of the journey, every moment of the process. God is providing what we need for that day. And lastly, I believe that it is in the process of patience that we discover God's purpose. And I want to be real, I am saying that and believing that just by faith. I don't even think it's something I have really experienced, or at least I'm not currently experiencing it right now. I know to an outside viewer or someone who follows me online, it might seem like I am just living my purpose. I'm traveling around, I'm preaching around the country, I'm making videos that people watch. But if I'm being completely honest, I'm still not sure what God's exact purpose or mission or plan is for my life. I'm confident that God is using my gifts to do good work in the world, but sometimes I get really worried that I'm just doing everything and I'm actually missing out on the one thing that God has called and created me to do. In Romans chapter 12, verse 2, it says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good and pleasing and perfect will. And this idea of the transformation or renewal that God wants to bring into our lives that this verse is describing, that is a process. This is not something that just happens in a minute. But the promise we receive is that if we are willing to go through that process, if we are willing to patiently endure that process of transformation, 
then as we do so, God will reveal his plan. God will reveal his purpose and his will for our lives. Really, I guess what I'm learning right now is that patience is not some stagnant state where we just have to sit there and wait for God. But patience is actually this rich process that is full of opportunities for us to strengthen and enrich our belief in and dependence on God. As always, this is just something that God is teaching me in my life right now, but I hope and I trust that there was something in here that encouraged you as well. If there was, please comment down below and let me know. I also want to let you know that this episode is brought to you by The Bear and the Swan. This is my podcast with my wonderful wife, Sweet Bear. We sit down and we talk about a whole bunch of things. Our latest episode is on friendship, so please head on over to wherever you get your podcasts. Subscribe, download, rate, review the podcast. We would very much appreciate it. Once again, that's the bear and the swan. You can find it wherever you get your podcasts. In the meantime, I will see you all next week for another video. I love you all, as always. Keep being awesome.